ionic radius radius of ions are called ionic radius ions are mainly formed from atoms when atoms lose electrons form cations and when atoms gain electrons form anions now we are going to compare radius of anion radius of cation with their parent atom radius of cation is found to be smaller than that of the neutral atom for example radius of sodium cation na plus is less than radius of na we know that sodium atom atomic number is 11 and the bohr model is like this okay three shell k l m so what is the atomic radius distance between center of the nucleus to the outermost shell okay and this distance give radius of sodium and that distance is called atomic radius of sodium and the value is found to be from experimentally it is found that 186 picometer so 186 picometer is the radius of sodium atom okay found experimentally from the internuclear distance okay then when sodium lose one electron it form sodium ion okay and sodium ion is also called cation okay and the bohr model is given here k shell contain two electron then l shell contain eight electron so what is the radius of this ion distance between center of the nucleus to the outermost shell and this radius is called radius of cation radius of cation the very interesting thing is that radius of cation is just 96 picometer that is radius of cation is 96 picometer and less than radius of parent sodium atom why the radius decreased in cation because one complete shell is removed due to loss of electron see here how many shell k l m but here only k and l so one shell completely removed from the ion so generally radius of cation is always found smaller than the parent neutral atom there is one more reason for this result let's see that explanation we know sodium atom contain how many protons number of protons in sodium okay in sodium atom is 11 how many electrons in sodium atom how many electrons 11 so 11 protons at the center 11 electrons are revolving around klm shell this is a condition of sodium atom what about na plus after losing electron it become cation how many protons in na plus is there any change in proton number no because protons are located at the center of nucleus so in na plus also proton number is 11 but how many electrons only two shell k shell 2 l shell 8 proton number of electron is 10 okay so sodium number of protons and electrons are equal but in na plus number of protons are more than number of electrons so what about the nuclear charge nuclear charge increase and that increase is called effective nuclear charge effective nuclear charge will increase charge increase why effective nuclear charge increase because now 11 protons are there to attract 10 electrons so 11 proton can easily attract 10 electrons so attraction become stronger so more attraction that nuclear charge is become effective for attraction so effective nuclear charge will increase 
due to the increase of free nuclear charge what happened to size size will decrease can i repeat due to 11 protons uh, the 11 protons attract 10 electron more than 11 electrons so 10 electron will attracted strongly to the nucleus and size of the cation will decrease okay this is another reason behind this result okay one reason is due to decrease of number of shell one shell is decreasing second reason is in cation effective nuclear charge is increasing due to more number of protons okay these two reasons are responsible for this result so what is the conclusion radius of cation is always found to be smaller than the radius of the corresponding atom radius of anion is found to be greater than neutral atom for example radius of fluor fluorine ion radius of fluorine anion is 136 picometer and this value is greater than radius of fluorine radius of fluorine is only 64 picometer how to explain this result fluorine number of electrons in fluorine is 9 number of protons are 9 okay because fluorine is neutral so number of electron and number of protons are 9 the atomic number of fluorine is what 9 but f minus number of electrons in f minus is 10 because one electron is gaining during the formation of anion so f minus is 10 but is there any change inside the nucleus no number of protons again 9 so number of protons less and number of electron is more so 9 proton is not enough 9 proton is not enough to attract 10 electrons so what happened the nuclear charge the effective nuclear charge decrease when the effective nuclear charge decrease size of the atom will increase clear the effective nuclear charge decrease size of the atom will increase because the 9 proton is not effective what do you mean by nuclear charge what do you mean by nuclear charge proton so 9 proton is not enough to attract 10 electron so nuclear charge is not enough proton is not enough so effective nuclear charge is decreasing so attraction will decrease and size of f minus will increase okay what is size of f minus 136 picometer what is size of fluorine 64 picometer clear variation of atomic size along a group atomic radius or atomic size generally increases down the group that is from top to bottom in a group atomic size increases let's take one example take the first group we know first group contain many elements hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium but here for understanding this variation take the first three members hydrogen atomic number is one so how many shells one shell k shell k shell containing how many electron one electron and here the Bohr model of hydrogen and this distance is called radius of hydrogen size of hydrogen lithium contain two shell k and l k contain two electron l one so this is a Bohr model of lithium and this distance distance between center of the nucleus to the outermost shell is called radius of lithium what about sodium sodium three shell k l m so compared to lithium sodium size is bigger because due to three shells so it's very clear from top to bottom number of shells shell numbers increasing so when the number of shell increase the atomic size also will increase see sodium let's see sodium this distance is called radius of sodium due to three shell this distance is more 
okay so in every group top to bottom number of shells will increase and due to the increase of number of shells atomic size also increase variation of atomic size along a period atomic radius or atomic size decreases from left to right along a period for example take second period second period contain eight elements from lithium to neon lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon for understanding this variation just take three important elements from this period you can take lithium carbon neon lithium carbon neon atomic number of lithium is 3 so two shell k and l k shell contain two electron l shell one electron neon also two shell two com, uh, k and l k shell contain two l shell contain eight electron so it is very clear left to right number of shells remains same how many shells are here left to right how many shells are present in every atom two shells so left to right number of shells remains same but there is a change in the attraction of electron see here how many electrons are attracting three three electrons are attracting to the nucleus here two from k shell and four from l shell but see the attraction here two from k shell but eight electrons are accumulated in the same shell due to that reason all the eight electrons are attracted to the nucleus all the eight electrons from the valence shell will attract to the nucleus so what will happen the atom size will decrease so it's very clear left to right number of shells remains same but the electrons are adding to the same shell due to that reason the attraction attractive pull towards nucleus is more so what happened gradually size also will decrease and one more thing here the protons the 10 protons inside the nucleus is effective for attracting all the electrons so nuclear charge is effective for attraction that is here effective nuclear charge is high we know effective nuclear charge increase atomic size will decrease okay so like that also we can explain this variation what about lithium there are three proton but that three proton that three nuclear charge is not effective for attraction so effective nuclear charge is less if effective nuclear charge is less atomic size is more okay so we can conclude like this from left to right atomic radius decrease due to increase in effective nuclear charge from left to right clear